Yes, but as many stores close up shop in high theft areas, others are going a different route and downsizing. Macy's leading that charge opening small format stores in strip malls. The company launched its first eight locations during the pandemic, plans to open four more sometime this year. So let's bring in financial expert and founder of Contrarian Thinking, Cody Sanchez. Co Cody, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, so the CEO is saying that these smaller stores are outperforming the company as a whole, meaning the larger stores. Why do you think that's the case? I think the larger stores are part of, part of a bigger issue, which is they're functioning functionally now obsolete. Mm -hmm. We used to have stores that were 150,000, 200,000 square feet. So we're talking four, four and a half football fields. The modern day consumer is not interested in digging through options. The modern day consumer is used to algorithms automatically, almost magically serving them up what they want. And I think these stores across not just Macy's, but Walmart, Target, even Dollar General are a new part of a trend that is moving towards the age of constant satisfaction as opposed to searching through three levels of a Macy's. Cody, that's so true. I mean, I love the, the search. I love to dig. The thought of three levels is, is overwhelming, honestly. It's way too much. Uh, but another big thing in all of this, which we show the videos, we, we see one of these new videos at least every week, the theft. It's really been such a huge problem all across the country. So many different types of stores dealing with it. Is it somehow managed differently in smaller settings like this? Well, I think you saw, you know, Westfield walk away from the San Francisco Center and leave behind a $558 million loan, uh, basically just saying, we're, we're done with this. We no longer prescribe to this idea of we have to lose money due to theft. Um, I think it is easier to manage in these small stores, but you know, not entirely, because if you look at the square footage of a CVS, it's not dissimilar from Macy's new market. And CVS also had closures all across San Francisco and California at large. And so um, that is a huge issue that we need to deal with on top of what I see as this commercial gargantuan issue we have, which is going to be that the way that we used to do business in commercial uh, real estate and thus department stores is not going to be the way we're doing it in the future. And uh, Macy's will just be the first of many to see that. I think they should have moved faster and sooner with more violence of action on downsizing. You know, and something I just thought of now, you say how, you know, we have these smaller stores like CVS uh, that are still dealing with so much theft. And we've seen, you know, CVS, Walgreens put so many things uh, behind plastic barriers. So you have to have an associate there uh, to let you, you get the items. Do you think that's kind of what we'll see with these these smaller stores and strip malls? I mean, is it possible we'll walk, we'll walk in and everything is really behind plastic display cases anyway? Unless there is a regulation change that doesn't make it punitive or liability for the owners to actually protect protect their merchandise, I think you're going to have two things. One, only the big mega stores will be able to stay open, which we're already seeing across the country. I mean, yeah. uh, retailers and, and supermarkets are interesting. 25 to 30 percent of all supermarkets uh, and retailers are owned by uh, gargantuan companies already. So I think the big will keep getting bigger. The small will go out of business because they can't afford these extra protections like you're talking about um, unless we have some change in you know security and, and how these people are able to protect their shops. And it'll differ varyingly by state and city and county like we're already seeing. Well, my last question for you, Cody, I mean, is the traditional part department store like the Macy's, like the Nordstrom, I mean, is that a thing of the past with so much available online and now this smaller format? I have a theory I'm playing with right now, which is that I think we're going to have smaller in real life, and we're going to have giant online. So consumers, you know, used to have in these huge stores 3,000 to up to 80,000 SKUs or items that they sell. And somebody like Macy's, who's been in business for 135 years, should know a Macy's customer pretty well by now. They should have your data points, and they should know what you actually want to buy. And so in the future, when you go into a store, it should be more tailored to you, like the Instagram ads that are targeted to you. And online, you'll have a smaller selection, but it'll be just for you. And then online, you're going to have a mega selection like Amazon does, Google, et cetera, except you're not going to feel it because everything will be what is on the front page perfectly for you and what is not on the front page, you probably won't see. So yes, I think this is a trend and this trend will accelerate. Well, we will certainly see what happens. Cody, thank you so much for your expertise. We appreciate it.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.